Hi everyone, Gina Craft, District Instructional Technology Coach. Um, I wanted to show you a, a way to possibly start to be able to weed out some of those kids who magically are able to join Google Meets and stuff even they're not supposed to be able to without a teacher. Um, Google's kind of rolled out a couple of different things to help with this and um, hopefully this will just kind of help curb some of that and permanently close down some meetings. Um, we're going to see two different screens um, as we're doing this. You're going to see my screen. So um, up here in the top right hand corner, you're going to see my picture. Um, and then uh, bits and pieces of this will be from the st a student account. So it'll look a little bit different so you can see both aspects to it. So I'm just going to um, go ahead and start a new meet. Just going to put craft one and join. Um, and this will look just like it always has. I'm going to turn off my camera, though, so we don't have my camera in multiple places. And click Join Now. Um, and then we can obviously see here's our information. Okay, so we have these host controls over here. It's this blue shield. When we click on that, that's going to pop up your different options. So by default, quick access is turned on. If you first turn this off, then this is going to show when it's turned off, Everybody who isn't invited to your meeting must ask to join, including people in your organization. So if you're using just a code like I use Craft One, um, this will require that anybody who puts that code in, I have to manually put in and say, yes, you can join. Now, this might be obviously there are positives and negatives with this. This is going to be overwhelming when you have um, lots and lots of kids that are trying to join. Um, however, it, it might help with moderating that specific step um, to ensure that if you are not in here, then nobody else can get in here. And as well, if you're not in here, then nobody else could somehow get your host controls. Okay, now we're gonna switch over to the student view. You can see over here that um, this is not my picture, this is a student account. So I'm gonna enter craft one to join it. It's gonna get me all ready. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my camera so I'm not double camera here. Ready to join, it's going to ask to join and it's going to stay here until the teacher lets me in. Okay, I can see now that the student wants to be let in. So I could either deny entry if I didn't know who it was or if I they weren't supposed to be in that meet or I could admit, I'm gonna go ahead and admit. So now I can see that the student is now included into my meet. Okay, um, I can now see that I am in the meet. If I look over here in the bottom left-hand corner, um, I don't have any of those host controls, so I don't have any access to that. I do have this raise hand option, so that is kind of a new built-in feature that a student could use to raise their hand. And then I have the same settings that I would have with anything else. So nothing here is new, um, just showing that the student doesn't have any of those host controls. Now I might be done with my meeting and I want to help ensure that students cannot get back on this meet when I'm not here. I'm not going to just X out up here. I'm going to click the leave call button and then you have two options, just leave the call or end the call. I don't want anybody else getting in this and so I'm going to end the call. This says now it's you've ended and it says tech training was removed from the meeting. Okay, so I know I've been booted out of this um, by the instructor, but I want to rejoin this. So I'm going to enter a coder nickname. I'm going to hit craft one. I'm going to hit join and it says you're not allowed to start a meeting. So it has been completely shut down and then students are not able to get back into that meeting. So this might hopefully be helpful and help kind of curb some of that unwanted behavior that we're seeing.